Good afternoon. As I frequently said when I've been sitting at tables in Washington, for the record, my name is Frank Stanton. This afternoon, we're here, really, as a result of an announcement that was made over the weekend. As a matter of fact, I would like to apologize to many of you for bothering you on a Sunday afternoon. I hope it was as pleasant in your part of the country as it was here in New York, although I didn't see much of it. But the, matter, the fact of the matter is that I wanted you to hear about the change in the command in the CBS television network before you either heard about it on your own air or read about it in the Monday morning papers. As I believe Bill Lodge said in the telegram that went out to you, Jim, Jim Aubrey did an extraordinary job in running the division in terms of ratings and revenue. You all know the record as well as I do, and the record speaks for itself. But this afternoon, I want to introduce the man who was quoted in the papers yesterday as saying last Saturday or Sunday, I'm 38 today, but next week I'll be 55. Things do move faster today than the day when I was asked to take the presidency of CBS. As a matter of fact, I think 20 years ago when Mr. Paley asked me if I would take the chairman or the presidency. Uh, I had a talk with him, and I had about four months to get things in order. The man you're going to meet today had about 48 hours. This is the tough job. Uh, some people have said it's almost an impossible job. But I'm convinced that if any man can do it, the man you're going to meet today is that man. Jack Snyder comes from a rich experience in the field of operating a station. And I know that that rich experience is going to stand him in good stead as he takes over his responsibilities uh, for the network. So it should make an ideal partnership between you and Mr. Snyder. And it has to be a partnership. No man can do this job alone. And I think Jack realizes this, and certainly I realize it. I'm also convinced that when you get to know Jack, as I know him, you'll have the respect for him that I have for him, not only for his abilities, but for his character. Before I turn to Jack, I just want to say that I look forward to seeing all of you at the NAB convention in Washington the night of March 21. And now it's my pleasure to present to you Jack Schneider. Thank you, Frank. It's my pleasure to be here, too, as you can well imagine. I look at this initial broadcast as kind of a premiere, a premiere of a long series of television broadcasts that you and I are going to be together on. As far as I can remember, there has never been a network series that has had its inaugural broadcast in March. So at least today, I hope I can be sharing with you this famous first. I just kind of have some random thoughts here today, sitting in the studio. I'm looking at a camera with tally lights that looks just like the cameras and tally lights that I saw around a television station. I've sat in front of cameras like this before, much as I'm sure you have, having done editorials or answered viewer mail on the air, been around studios, and for one reason or another, have had to sit in front of a television camera. And you therefore, because most of you are non-professionals in front of a camera, know what kind of an experience this can be. I am at ease also because I, I'm at home talking to station people. For the 15 years I've been with CBS and better than 17 years in broadcasting, my entire area of concern has always been station matters. I've been a station manager for six and a half years. On the other side of the Hudson, I might add, was more than six of it, so that I know what it's like on the other side of the Hudson. I know what you think about. I know how important it is at a station. I know that when the phone rings and the mail comes in after a broadcast, that you are CBS television in your market. 
I know that you have to face your friends and talk about this. Even your families have to face up to people about what's on CBS television. I don't think that people look at, uh, I think people do look at stars and they look at programs and they look at channels. They don't select networks to look at. You are the CBS television network in your market, in your community. I understand that. I don't think I can ever forget it either. I don't think I could have brought 17 years to thinking stations and ever forget it. I suppose many of you have, as I did, I can promise you, when I was operating a station said, boy, if I was ever running that network, let me tell you this is the way I'd do it. Well, lightning struck this weekend and I'm gonna have to put my money where my mouth is. Uh, I hope I don't end up putting your money where my mouth is. I'm gonna run this network with stations in mind. There are gonna be times when I have to come to you and ask for help. I just hope that the dialogues that we have uh, can be as filled with pointing with pride as they can be filled, as they have been on some occasions, I know, with viewing with alarm. On this broadcast today, I have no earth-shaking announcements. You are fortunate and I'm fortunate that in the CBS television network we have the greatest team of professionals that's ever been brought together in one place. We have a marvelous flywheel effect that will keep things going. You know and I know that we've got the greatest television network in the world. More people look at us, we have more billing, that means more people are looking at you and you have more billing. That's important, we need both. We need the leadership in television and the economic support to continue that leadership. We're in this together. I really understand this and I want you to know that I understand it. We're gonna see each other in Washington, as Frank mentioned, in a couple of weeks. Then I'm looking forward, in case any of you can't be coming to Washington, where I look forward to meeting you. If I miss you there, I hope I'll see you out on the coast in May. I'm excited. I hope you're excited for me. I need your help. I hope it'll be there. Thank you.